Hi guys, uh, welcome to Bit One Great. In this video, uh, I'm going to talk about how to check information from order book from Binance Futures Exchange. Okay. So, so this video is is about how to check uh, how to get live data from Binance Futures. Features exchanges order book. Okay. So, so what is the uh, order book? Okay. By the way, this is the uh, Binance Futures. And okay, so uh, if you go to Binance Futures uh, website, okay, and uh, you're gonna see this. And uh, this is the order book okay and the order book has the uh, list of uh ask and bid orders okay so if you if you take a look at this order book the orders in uh in red color is the uh, ask orders okay and the uh, orders in green color uh indicate the bid orders okay and uh Whenever someone uh whenever someone uh takes uh these orders uh there is a trade. Okay, so okay, so uh we are going to uh use a uh, Python, and uh we are going to start with uh importing a uh, request library. Okay, so uh, you 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 need to. Uh, type in uh, import space uh, request okay. and we're going to uh, request data for uh, IMAX USDT okay. this is one of the tickers on Binance Futures Exchange okay. so I'm going to define the symbol to be a uh, single quote IMAX USDT okay. and uh, we are going to use uh, this uh, URL to request inf uh, data or information from uh, Binance Futures Exchange. Okay, so uh, this will uh, this URL address start with uh, HTTPS semicolon slash slash f api dot binance dot com slash f api slash v one slash steps question mark symbol equal and uh, single quote. So this is the uh, base URL and and uh, we are going to use the symbol defined that uh, we defined earlier. Okay. And there's option. Okay. So uh, if you put uh, and the limit equal single quote plus uh, ten, this will uh, give you uh, uh, up to uh, ten uh, orders. Okay. So uh, let's uh, execute uh, this uh, code. Okay. So. You execute this code, okay. You get the uh, information from uh, Binance Exchange, and uh, let's let's let let's take a look at. Oh, okay. I I forgot to mention this. Okay, so uh, we're going to define the uh, data, which will be equal to our uh, request get URL dot JSON uh, uh, parenthesis. Okay. So uh, this will uh, request data from Binance Futures Exchange and uh, return the information in uh, JSON format. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's let's print the what data is. Okay. Okay. So if you take a look at this, okay. Binance Exchange they gave us uh this uh, information okay so there's a last update ID uh this will uh give you the time that uh last updated uh information and uh important uh part is the uh bid and ask okay the bid uh under this uh, list there's uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
10 orders, information for 10 orders, okay, for each uh, bid and uh, ask, okay. And uh, if you just want the uh, information for bid orders, then uh, you execute this uh, data, open a square uh, bracket and uh, bid in a single quote and uh, close uh, square bracket. Okay, so uh, this will give you the the the, the bid orders. Okay, ten bid order. Okay, and if you execute this the data with the ask, then this will give you uh, orders information for ask orders. Okay, and uh, let's check if uh, what we are seeing are uh, in line with uh, live data. Okay, so if you look at this, you have to be careful because uh, things change quite uh, fast, okay? Uh, and uh, the reason why I chose IMAX USDT is uh, it's rather illiquid and uh, there's uh, less trade than other major uh, tickers like uh, BTC USDT. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Look at 52, 1.832. Okay, so this is the ask part, and uh, uh, it seems that uh, our code uh, is working uh, correctly. Okay, okay so uh, so in this video, we uh we covered how to uh retrieve the data for uh finance uh, futures exchanges or uh, order book. Okay. So uh, this is the end of this video, and uh, I will come back with uh with uh, other videos on finance futures uh API based on uh, Python language. Thank you.